Hello, my name is Justin Urquhart Stewart, and this is just a short talk to give you an idea of what I hope I'm going to be talking about when we get together for our conference later in the year. Uh, of course, we're all having to work mostly from home, or in my case, welcome to my building site. Luckily, I've got a rather useful sign here covering up most of the holes in the walls. What I was going to talk about, really, which I think is probably the most important thing that everybody needs to know about, particularly when it comes to their finances, is the economy. The future of the economy, not just our economy, but what happens around the world. Uh, because we are interconnected in all sorts of ways, whether it's from climate and the horrors happening there to obviously the pandemic. Now, the good news actually is that actually the global economy is picking up. It's actually doing quite well, rather unfashionable thing to say. It's going to be growing at about 5 to 6% a year. Now, first warning here, a lot of these figures from the IMF are notoriously unreliable. Their best guesses, frankly, based on pretty thin information. But nonetheless, I think there's a good chance the global economy is growing at about that level. So we've actually got then, therefore, growth coming out of China, growth in America. Europe's going to be slower. But actually, I suppose when you look at the global economy, there is a, another element missing. The elephant in the room, which, of course, is India. And so we've got the uh, Indian elephant and we've got the Chinese dragon. We need to be well aware of what they're up to. Now, both of those countries have particular impacts on the emerging economies particularly for India with ASEAN and also with China as well with regard to Australia and other areas and particularly Africa. So actually we're going to be seeing some recovery there as well. So that is a positive element. There are also some negatives, particularly with regard to inflation. The governor of the Bank of England said he regards it as a blip, 4% this year, then it goes away. I hope he's right. But it's affecting pay scales, it's affecting commodity prices, it's affecting all sorts of areas around the world and we're seeing it domestically here as well. So, good news is the economy is growing, good news is actually we can see it globally, bad news there are significant risks. And we need to make sure all your clients and all of us have the confidence to know that the economy will still be there, that it is going to be growing, it is worth investing and we will have that confidence. But there will be risks and there will be volatility going with it. All the more reason therefore to give messages to our clients which are reliable, well, trustworthy in some way, but giving them realistic views as to what's happening. We can't promise fantastic gains, but you can promise the best efforts to try and make sure we do the one main thing with people's money, which is don't lose the sodding stuff. I hope you'll look forward to seeing you later in the year. Uh, but in the meantime, I wish you every success for your business and success for your clients as well. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.